The Houston Cougars are headed to the American Championship Final. I'm Haley Outen, joined alongside Houston head coach Kelvin Sampson. Coach, congratulations on this win in the semifinals. Uh, looking at the final possession in that game when Wichita State went to inbound the ball, what was your discussion with the team in the huddle heading into that final play? Well, um, with only four seconds to go, there's a good chance they weren't going to make two passes and throw it inside. So they had to have something that was a quick hitter. So it was either going to go to the Shamit or to uh, uh, Frank Kemp. Uh, I just remember against uh, Cincinnati last Sunday, they had that same situation on the baseline. They gave the ball to Frank Kemp. So we decided to, uh, if there's any kind of cross action or, or uh, screening action, we were going to switch uh, that. So um, you know, sometimes you guess right in those situations. Uh, we, did, we certainly didn't guess m right much the second half because we couldn't guard them the second half. They were kicking our butt there. But, uh, you know, our, our toughness, our, our will, um, not giving in uh, helped a lot. But um, that's a good team. You know, sometimes you got to get a little bit lucky. You mentioned in the press conference that you pulled Rob Gray early in the first half because you weren't happy right. with his how he was performing, rather. But he carried – the scoring load tonight, 33 points for your senior. How clutch was he when you needed him the most? Yeah, Rob and I have a good relationship, and he knows that I have a short leash when he's out there performing. There's a difference in performing versus competing. You know, when you're, when you're competing, you're going to war. There's a difference in fighting a battle and going to war. Um, so I, I just took him out of the game. I said, Rob, you know, sometimes we're better with you over here than we are with you out there. you got to figure out how hard you want to play tonight. So... Uh, but he, he knows he knew I was going to put him back in eventually. I uh, probably kept him out a little bit longer than he thought. But, um, you know, we were down with him in there, and then we got to lead with him out. And that, that's happened uh, quite a few times this year. But we don't win this game without Rob Gray. Uh, he's, he's another winner. He shows you what he was made of in that second half. When you look back to four years ago when you took over this program and you look at right now, you're playing in the American Championship Final, and your team is headed to the NCAA Tournament. What is it like to be in this moment? It's very, it's very gratifying, Haley. Um, but, you know, I, I want to give a lot of credit to those kids on that first team. You know, we were 13 and 19, and maybe that team should have been, um, I don't know, six and something. But that, those kids fought. They, they set the foundation for the teams after. And then the uh, Eric Wearies and Devontae Pollards and – um, Chicken Knowles, Mikhail McLean's, Kyle Myers, Burt Collies. Uh, those those kids ha had to go through that. You know, you look. You know, Mick Cronin and Greg Marshall. They've been at their programs uh, double digit years. You know, when we were building ours, uh, we weren't nearly as good, but uh, we are now. And it was those kids that came before these kids that helped set the uh, foundation. Congratulations, Coach. Good luck in the final. Thank you, Haley. I'm now joined by Houston guard Rob Gray. Rob, 33 points for you in this game tonight. But when you look back at the first half, it didn't exactly start off like that. Coach pulled you out of the game. Uh, what did that do to impact the rest of your performance tonight? <clears throat> you know, he just, uh, like he said in the interview, he had to take me out because he didn't like how I started. You know, I, I totally agree with Coach. And we're pretty much on the same page when it, when it all uh, is said and done. So, you know, it worked out for the better and no ill feelings. We're in the championship. So I'm just looking forward to uh, try to start the game off better tomorrow. You carried a significant portion of the scoring load. At what point in the second half did you feel it click for you? Um, you know, when I made my first three, I was 0 for 5 yesterday, 0 for 3 in the first half. And then when I finally made that first one, it just kind of let me relax and uh, get my swag back, get my confidence. And uh, I think I made about four or five in a row from there. So uh, just seeing the ball go through, it does a lot. On the Wichita State side, they also have a very good guard in Landry Shamit. It seemed like you both were trading shots at one point in the game. How did you prepare for that matchup? Um, well, I was really guarding them that much. Uh, Galen and Corey took on that load, but um, you know, I just I always want to outcompete or um, or outplay whoever uh, the other team's best team is, best player is. And in, in this instance, we know Shamit's a very good uh, player, first team All Conference. So it's just a competitive nature and uh, wanting to do anything to make it to the championship. Galen Robinson also able to contribute, especially in those final seconds with some big plays. He sort of does a lot of the thankless work. What is his impact on the court? His impact is, is so meaningful. Uh, Coach Sampson always brags on him that, you know, you can impact our game without scoring a single point. And uh, he holds him to a super high standard of his intensity, his defensive effort, loose balls and deflections and defensive rebounding. And uh, Galen always comes through and helps impact winning when it's needed. And uh, we're really glad we got a point guard like him. 
Your team has made several impactful statements this year against top opponents around the country. How does a game like this prepare you for what's to come in the NCAA tournament? Well, this is uh, tournament basketball. Wichita State is a, a very highly rated brand of a team, and um, just beating beating them uh, two two to one on the on the year is it changes people's perception of the University of Houston basketball program, and that's why we all came to U of H, and we're uh, we're super proud of what what we've done so far, but. We are, we're not done yet, and we know that we can't. We got to stay hungry and humble. You're taking on another team that's headed to the NCAA tournament in this year's final, both teams in search of their first American championship title. Um, what do you expect the intensity to be like in tomorrow's final? Oh, it's going to be a super intense team. Cincinnati's are a very tough defensive and offensive rebounding team, and so are we. So it's just going to be uh, the team that comes out that's most desperate and um, whose best players step up and play, uh, play how they're supposed to is going to who's going to win. All right, thanks a lot, Rob. Good luck in the final. Thank you for having me.